So today, this is Tom Calabrese. Calabrese. Thank you. That's okay. It and means you're beautiful and dear, which obviously, you know, awesome. False, false advertising. Uh, <laughs> you grew up in New Jersey. Yep, Paramus. Land of the free home of the shopping center. The town that I've been living in for 16 years yep. right. and now. And you've been working in this industry for how many years? About eight years. Eight years, okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So before assisted living locators? I was the director of sales at a large continuum of care retirement community. Excellent. So you have a lot of knowledge and insight into this industry. I understand not only the client that I'm serving, right. both clients that I serve, one who is the senior and the other which is the property. So I um, you worked on both sides. Bring that perspective, right? Yeah. So in terms of how you can educate us and teach us and uh, explain to us something that is really going to be helpful to us. Well, I, I think what I try to do mm -hmm. is um, express the importance of proactivity. Mm -hmm. uh, the reality is that none of us like change. At whatever chapter we are in our lives and we find comfort, the idea of changing, that is not something you know, uh, that we, we seek out all the time. But as we change in age, we change in stage. Mm -hmm. And proactive planning is going to be your best friend because life will change and if a life event happens and you're forced to make changes under duress um, the the options might be more limited and you're going to be in a position where your focus is going to want to be elsewhere so working with a professional senior uh, advisor early to make sure that your legal affairs are straight your financial affairs are straight and that you understand what the marketplace looks like for solutions um, doing that early is going to be your best friend. That's really great advice. So, I would, I mean, what percent of your clients are crisis situation where they don't have the luxury of planning ahead? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, so, my, if left unattended, it would be a high percentage, you know, 75 or 80 percent would mm -hmm. be people coming to me where a life event has prompted them to do so. Mm -hmm. um, through my educating mm -hmm. families, I've been able to lower that number mm -hmm. uh, because I've been able to create dialogue proactively. Mm -hmm. So I still am responding to discharge planners and people helping families who are in crisis, but I'm also able to um, catalyze the conversation with families much earlier so that they feel safe doing so. Um, and so it, that number's changing. Great. So when people plan ahead, when it's time to go to assisted living, memory care living, mm -hmm. um, they have everything in order. They know exactly what they're getting into. And it's less of an, of an emotional decision. Yep. Okay. So an educated consumer is my best customer. Great. Um, also, I know that's, that's, that sounds like a cliche, but it's one of the, <laughs> it's like a gift that you can give your children. Mm -hmm. Because when the family, when there is a life event and the family is in crisis, many times the children will be called upon to step up and solve it. That can sometimes create tensions amongst siblings. Great point. So Great point. if you do proactive planning and you give that to your children and say, we've already set up our, our powers of attorney. We'd like you to handle our finances. We'd like you to handle our medical affairs. Then that's a resolved issue. And, and also, mom and I would like uh, these different uh, properties. We've looked at them. We know that we can afford them. We have this individual, in this case, Tom Carabalese, who you can refer to for, uh, you know, for our conversations. It's like a gift uh, that you can give to your family. That's good. So what do you say to the family that thinks, well, we're not there yet why oh, yeah. why plan now this might be years from now yeah like I, I know you've already been telling us but how can you convince people to go ahead and research now you know by gently challenging two words uh, one of them uh, is ready and the other one is soon okay um, people will say well you know it's it's nice what you do Tom but you know obviously Mary and I aren't ready you know we're gonna do something like that uh, soon and I, I challenge them gently in saying, when is ready on your calendar? 
how will you know when ready is? Is it something that's going to pop up? Is it, you know, something that you're saying we're going to do it six months from now? Or, you know, what is soon? So, in, in gently sort of challenging those terms and helping them understand again the value of proactivity, I'm able to get people to start entertaining the conversation, putting you know. Um, terms to what they can afford, timing of things, managing expectations. That's important. Yeah. I, I would say proactivity is your best friend. Okay. And you know, working with uh, a non-biased or an, you know, an objective senior living advisor, yeah. salespeople, and I was one. I was director of sales at a continuum and I did a very good job. But as a painter, I only had one color on my, pla my palette. It's all I could offer you is that one color. As a senior living advisor, I have a broad palette of solutions. And that means that I'm going to be able to paint a fuller picture for you. So you should engage um, an objective senior living advisor to help you proactively craft a solution. You know, that's interesting because I'm working with a client right now and her reply was, oh, my family friend works at an assisted living home yeah. and so of course we're going to take her advice and go go to her building. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So yeah. salespeople, uh, I'm sure that they have most good intentions mm -hmm. but they also have a responsibility to their employer to promote the property that pays them, right? right. Um, so wh what I say is it's, it's better to go to a, a, an objective individual who can make sure that uh, you're considering multiple options so that you can make the most informed and balanced decisions. That's good. Tom, thank you. You're more than welcome. Thanks.